Hello and welcome to this video. This is a quick video about this thing here. This is the Runcam Thumb. Now I looked at this about four weeks ago and this is a little £50, $50, 1080p, 60 frames a second camera that is ultra lightweight. It doesn't have an onboard LiPo battery and it takes a little SD card inside. Now, there was lots of initial excitement about this, but that very quickly turned to disappointment when most of us tried to use it with GyroFlow. Now, GyroFlow is one of the new darlings of the hobby, along with lots of other things. This is a free piece of software that you can download, currently as I'm recording this, on Release Candidate 5, and every time it's been downloaded, it's got better and better. And this allows you to add gyro or movement data along to any footage that you've taken and it will stabilize the footage for you. Now the exciting thing was initially is that the Runcam thumb as well as recording in 1080p either 60 or 50 frames a second but we'll come on to that in a minute also records the gyro data so should have worked with gyro flow but didn't. However it looks like they've got a handle on this because in the run cam stuff, if you go into download and if you go into the HD, um, the action cameras, there is now the run cam thumb, which has appeared recently, and there's now version 2.1.0. This is something that you can download. To update is really easy. You stick it onto your SD card in the root directory and then you turn it on. So if we download it, Let's have a very, very quick look at what is in here. There's just these three things. There's a README, which just says, in, after upgrading successfully, the camera will automatically generate thumb.conf on the TF card. That's how you know it's going to work. Use thumb.conf to change everything, and then use the configuration file to set the gyroscope data. And then in here, the file that you want is this one here, this thumb.bin. You want to copy this file into the root directory of the SD card. And then once it's in there, you just have to power the camera, either from the USB or from a 5 volt supply, and it'll go through this. It doesn't take very long at all. It actually says that um, the green light will flash while the firmware is upgrading. And it says after two minutes, the camera will automatically shut down and restart. However, once it's updated, if we look at the SD card, it looks like this. There is a version file, so this is Thumb 1.0. So I was thinking, oh, it hasn't worked, but actually it has. That's just the version of the hardware. Thumb.conf is the one that's been created, and also you'll notice the bin file has been deleted as well. Now in Thumb.conf, this allows you to set all of the settings as well, which is new in this updated version of the software. Again, you can see here it's 2.1, so that's brilliant, but Crucially in here, it's now easy to do all the settings. So we can set things like the video resolution. So it needs to be set to one if we're going to use the stabilization stuff. It's set to zero by default, which is weird. We can also turn on or turn off whether or not it's going to save the gyro CSV file. So that needs to be at one and the video resolution needs to be at one as well if it's going to save everything. Really odd that that wasn't the default choice. But in this file is also the ability to access all of the settings for things like exposure, brightness, white balance, how things like the contrast and power management is done as well. So if you're not happy about the way it's performing, you can come in here and change stuff. So I'm saving this back and done a quick little bit of footage. So here inside GyroFlow, I'm not going to give a full detailed breakdown of how this works, unless you really want me to. If you do want me to, pop it down in the comments down below, and I'll do a whistle-stop tour. It looks really complicated, because all of these things can be opened up, but all it's doing in here is it is allowing you to load in the video from the thumb, allow you to... Uh, open the motion data uh, for the Runcam stuff. Runcam recommend that you set a low pass filter of 43 hertz for, for this particular one as well, and also allows you to do it with a lens profile. Now, in the latest versions of this software, it does have a lens profile that's already set. I actually don't like it. I've got my own that I'm using here that I prefer. And then on the other side, that's how you set everything up and get the files ready. Over here is how you do it. Synchronize will actually synchronize the gyro data to the image. So if you are using gyro data from maybe another source, 
it will sort it out for you and then once it's all synchronized you can decide how you want it stabilized what the field of view is like so you can get rid of all these black bars and then you've also got the ability then to do your export settings and how you want to, to actually have it all set now the nice thing is is that as of 2.1 this seems to be working an awful lot better is it perfect no, not really, but you can see here that it is working an awful lot better. And if you zoom in on some of the data, the way that the data is working is a lot nicer too. So definite improvement if you are looking at the thumb camera and you want to try this out, I would definitely recommend installing 2.1 onto your thumb it definitely improves everything and makes it a lot better in terms of the way it moves now normally the way you would do this of course is that you'd actually zoom out uh, you'd lose resolution but you would actually um, end up with a better image but if i just overblow the f the field of view so you can see how it looks as I play it you'll see it's not doing a terrible job as I'm moving the camera around of trying to keep everything stabilized so congratulations to Runcam for listening and working hard on trying to get this all sorted in my humble opinion this is how it should have been when it was released and I'm going to be watching the release section on the Runcam website in case there's an, any other fur, further improvements to make this better. I'm hoping now that this Runcam thumb becomes a successful product because what I would really love is to have versions of this Runcam thumb that record in both 2.7k and also have a 4k version available because the issue is in Gyroflow if you now zoom out to the point where you um, lose the black borders you are cropping a lot of the image out and that means that you just get a lot of pixelization if you start with a much bigger image like a 4k image you could stabilize it and still end up with 2.7 easily or 1080p in very very shaky videos so hopefully that helps links to all this down below do remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon for more tips and tricks like this in future Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.